If you've ever wondered why banana-flavored candy doesn't taste quite like the bananas you eat today, the answer lies in history, because bananas used to taste completely different. The bananas most people enjoy now are called Cavendish, but until the mid-20th century, the world's dominant banana was a variety known as the Gros Michel, richer, creamier, and far sweeter than the ones we know. Its flavor was so distinct that most banana flavoring we still use today is based on the Gros Michel, not the Cavendish. The Gros Michel reigned supreme during the early 1900s, especially in Central and South America, where vast plantations supplied a booming global demand. People adored its taste, its thick peel, and its resistance to bruising. It was the perfect export fruit. But in the 1950s, a fungal disease known as Panama disease, caused by the Fusarium oxysporum fungus, swept through banana plantations and wiped out the Gros Michel worldwide. The fungus infected the soil so deeply that replanting was impossible. Desperate for a replacement, growers turned to the Cavendish, a milder tasting banana that was immune to that particular strain of fungus. It became the global standard, but the shift came with a cost. The Cavendish is more fragile, has a shorter shelf life, and lacks the intense flavor people once loved. Ironically, a new strain of Panama disease, TR4, now threatens Cavendish crops too, putting bananas once again at risk of extinction. So next time you peel a banana, you're tasting the survivor of a fruit family tragedy. The Gros Michel may be gone from store shelves, but its flavor lives on in old recipes, artificial banana candies, and nostalgic memories of a sweeter era.